The image processor is where recipes are developed and where they can be run on single images. The batch processor then takes this recipe and applies it to many images at once. The real-time processor is similar to the batch processor, except it watches a specific folder and applies the recipes to images as they're deposited into that folder. The post processor allows us to review the results of a batch or real-time process and perform any necessary manual cleaning, produce batch measurements, etc. Batches of images that represent slices through a 3D volume or through time can then be visualized and further processed in the 3D toolbox. Let's zoom into the image processor now. As I mentioned before, this is the place where you'll develop and edit your image analysis solution. Opening images in the image processor is almost trivial. Just drag them in. You can do the same with the recipe. The original or reference image lives here on the left, while the current processed image lives on the right. We of course have the usual zoom and pan tools, as well as a number of tools up here that give you information about what's in your image. You can also calibrate the image so that MyPAR can work in physical units rather than in pixels. It'll even find your scale bars for you. Just like that. Okay. Let's turn to the recipe itself. As you develop your recipe in MyPAR, specific steps can be promoted to layers. Layers represent the final output of the recipe, telling the world what is what in the image. If there's too much information on screen, layers can be hidden, of course. You can also view all the layers at once, rather than just the current step. And you can perform measurements on all the layers at once, rather than just the current step. Say, for example, we don't want to have the area fraction of the ROI, of course, 100%. That can be removed as well. And now we just find the area fraction of tertiary and secondary particles in this image relative to the region of interest. Navigating the recipe itself is fairly simple. Double click on a step to visualize its output in the current image. If you want to visualize one step while editing elsewhere, then don't double click. Just a single or right click will move the working step without changing which step is displayed. If you want to add at the beginning of a recipe without having MyPAR rebuild the entire recipe every time you make a change, you can disable execution, starting at any step that you'd like. You can then re-enable the rest of the recipe whenever you're ready. You can also drag, shift, and control click to delete several steps at once. Once the algorithm is developed and your layers are set, you can add or edit measurements from the menu bar here or from the shortcut bar. You can measure an entire layer or selection. You can measure each individual feature within a layer or each pixel within a layer. Measure features and measure local have the added functionality of being able to visualize your measurements color coding features and pixels accordingly. So here we have each pixel, each feature, excuse me, coded according to this color scale in histogram on the right.
As we wind up our introduction to MyPAR, I want to just briefly introduce the batch and post processors. Once you have your recipe developed, you can apply it to a large number of images in the batch processor. Simply load them in, like so, and hit process. Now I recommend doing this during recipe development as well as after, so you can check each chapter and make sure it works for all of your images before moving on to the next chapter. Layers and measurements are going to be stored in the selected location here. Once the recipe has finished running on all the images, you can load them in the post processor, either by hitting view results or by opening up the SSN file. Here in the post processor, you can perform manual cleaning if necessary and collect more measurements. The real-time processor looks exactly like the batch processor, except instead of loading images, you load the folder to watch, and it will execute the recipe on that folder. Finally, the 3D toolbox allows you to visualize stacks of images, and you can visualize a 3D reconstruction of the image stack. You can do lots of cleanup, rejecting features, pre-processing, some of the same steps that you could do in the image processor except on the stack or on the volume instead of just on the single image.